August 13th. Do not quench the Spirit. Do not quench the Spirit. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 19. The voice of the Spirit of God is as gentle as a summer breeze, so gentle that unless you are living in complete fellowship and oneness with God, you will never hear it. The sense of warning and restraint that the Spirit gives comes to us in the most amazingly gentle ways. If you are not sensitive enough to detect His voice, you will quench it, and your spiritual life will be impaired. This sense of restraint will always come as a still, small voice. 1 Kings 19 verse 12 So faint that no one except a saint of God will notice it. Beware if in sharing your personal testimony, you continually have to look back, saying, Once a number of years ago, I was saved. If you have put your hand to the plow and are walking in the light, there is no looking back to the past. The past is instilled into the present wonder of fellowship and oneness with God. Luke 9, verse 62. Also see 1 John 1, verses 6 through 7. If you get out of the light, you become a sentimental Christian and live only in your memories, and your testimony will have a hard metallic ring to it. Beware of trying to cover up your present refusal to walk in the light by recalling your past experiences when you did walk in the light. 1 John 1, verse 7. Whenever the Spirit gives you that sense of restraint, call a halt and make things right, or else you will go on quenching and grieving Him without even knowing it. Suppose God brings you to a crisis, and you almost endure it, but not completely. He will engineer the crisis again, but this time some of the intensity will be lost. You will have less discernment and more humiliation at having disobeyed. If you continue to grieve His Spirit, there will come a time when that crisis cannot be repeated because you have totally quenched Him. But if you will go on through the crisis, your life will become a hymn of praise to God. Never become attached to anything that continues to hurt God. For you to be free of it, God must be allowed to hurt whatever it may be.